can I have kale egg bites, please? With two pumps, peppermint, no classic, and a splash of cream. Thank you, I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm having the hardest time waking up in the morning these days. Like, I think it's because it's cold. I was supposed to wait until 7.30. I moved it to 9. I was like, I... I don't know what it is. My bed is so cozy, it is so cold, and I want to stay in it, you know? It is Thanksgiving week. Uh, I have like a little cozy week at home. I don't know if this vlog will go into Thanksgiving or not. I'm, I haven't, haven't decided yet. I'm going weightlifting, and then I've been having like, not been able to focus and had no energy, so I'm going to the sauna in cryo after. And then we're vision boarding today, okay? Okay, got it, sorry. I like your air freshener. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Can I get a straw as well? Um, I'm good, thank you. So I'm gonna vision board today, make a list of goals, just do things like that, you know? We're, it's almost like we're getting our lives together for the new year, but really early because I need to send in all my solo podcast episodes, basically the rest of the podcast episodes into January by like December 13th or something. So I just wanna get ahead and get ready and prep, especially cause this week is gonna be all over the place. So welcome to like a cozy couple days at home. Subscribe if y'all are new here. I wish that my workout was done. It's just too cold. Like, it is cold. By the way, this is my Starbucks order lately. It is so good. Like, I look forward to it every morning. It does suck because I wish I had like, a little, you know, red cup, but so good. <music> Y'all, this is so sad. Like, so sad. As you guys know, first off, like, this is just so sad. I know I've vlogged about this before. It's getting fixed today. It sucks because this is, like, dying, but I can't really do anything about it. For the time being, I'm going to have to have my task rabbit gets here in, like, five minutes, and he's going to set up the next one. Long story short, they sent me one that's like morphed, like this came out and so it all fell. This is going great, I hear the squirrels appear all the time, they're like, look at what they've been digging. But look guys, so, it's still wet though. Um, a lot of the flowers, I mean the weather has been dead, I mean been so bad. A lot of the flowers have died. Basil, like, it doesn't matter what I do, will not, also like they're in this. The oregano's fine, but the basil, I mean like that happened literally in the past 24 hours. Rosemary, I mean it's obviously like the worst time to start a garden. But, uh, you know, this looks better. I didn't even get my after shot with the plants looking good. So, that's unfortunate, but this is tragic and it will be fixed today. Another one is being put together and we're gonna move that over somehow. I need like a shovel or something, a bigger shovel than what I have. Um, but over here, like this is looking great, guys. I'm happy about it. It's kinda, it's, it's looking awesome. Okay, so, the garden is getting fixed. It is currently at noon. Listening to OK Sis, cause Dom was on. I mean, I always listen to OK Sis, but Dom was on it this week and it's really good. This morning has been quite the wellness morning. I woke up late. I went and weight lifted and then I went and did the sauna and then I did cryo. I got a burst of energy after. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get my run out of the day cause I'm doing couch to 5K. So I have three runs a week and we already took last week off. So got all that done, showered, and now I am ready. I think I'm gonna have a nice little like breadwinning housewife day with the garden, maybe learn a new recipe, try something new out. I need to clean up a little bit. I was just organizing my closet really quickly. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to do about all these dead plants now. Cause it's like, it, this, it's been storming so bad that they over, get overwatered and there's nothing I can do. I'm like, I know it's, I know. This is not the time to start a garden. But I'm impatient and I wanted to do it, so I did it anyway. So we're gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do. I need like a really big dustpan for over there. This is really tragic. <laughs> Last thing I need are new coffee mugs because I just put some away. But I saw these on Etsy a few weeks ago and I ordered them. Like how cute are these? I love them. They're like perfect for my house. So I got more and this is why, this is why I have way too much stuff. That's just like unnecessary. We're gonna do a little book update. So I think 
The last thing I said was that I read Matthew Perry's memoir. Actually, I've barely read since then. I've been in a really bad book slump. Like I have so many book samples right now that I just haven't pulled the trigger on. I have a Kindle, of course. Um, I love my Kindle Oasis. It's not necessary. Get a paper white, honestly. Like I read a lot, so I was fine to spend more, but like it honestly, it's like not necessary. I do think it's nicer, but like the paper white is totally fine, and that's the one I buy the most um, as gifts. Because I love reading so much and I don't really watch TV, I bought the nicer one for myself, but I would've been totally fine with the paper white. I read Captain Center, Everyone is Beautiful, and like I honestly don't even remember what that book was about. Let's look at my book review. I gave it a three stars. Oh, you know what? I read this because I love The Bodyguard by her, and at first I was like, oh, this one's good. But then it just like went on, I'm like, what? I had literally nothing happened in the book, like it wasn't really my vibe. I read Matthew Perry's memoir, which I, it made him like unlikable. I don't know how to describe it and I hate to say that because like memoirs are so personal and vulnerable and like I really commend him speaking on addiction and like so vulnerably but like something about the book, the tone was, I don't know, maybe I needed to listen to it in like audible form so that I would like get the jokes if I was missing the jokes but like something about it wasn't great. I started reading When Women Lead, I'm still reading that one. Um, Heart of Hope by Lucy Score. I read this book in two nights. It was a short, quick Lucy score book. It was fine. Like, I liked it. It was cute, but it wasn't like, I wasn't like, oh my God, I'm dying for this book. Um, I downloaded Happenstance, which is Tessa Bailey's new book. So I'm curious to see if that one's good. I started reading the sample, wasn't into it. So let me know if you guys have read it and if it's worth it. And then I downloaded Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy score just now or last night. And I'm like 8% in, but I am having really bad book slump issues. It's actually a good thing to bring up, by the way. If y'all live in Dallas, I'm doing a Dallas book club. IRL, um, December 7th at Wild Detectives. All the info is on TikTok and on my Instagram. It's open to everyone. Our first book is It Starts With Us. So finish that by the time you come, or like honestly just come and hang. We can like, get drinks, hang, talk books, make friends, whatever. So anyways, um, I'm in a really bad book slump and I'm trying so hard to get out of it, but like, I don't know what it is. The past like two or three weeks have just not been it for me. They've really not been it for me. Okay, well, I'm gonna, um, I actually don't know what I'm gonna do right now. Part of me like wants to go to Sprouts. The other part of me wants a vision board. Like, I, I don't really know. These are kind of my ideal days. Okay, I ended up just ordering my groceries. I really wanted to go to Sprouts, but I got the scheduling wrong today and someone's actually coming over at two to um, build the raised garden bed, so I had to order it. I got myself a little buffalo chicken wrap because I'm so hungry, but I'm gonna make, this isn't technically a new recipe. I know I said I wanted to make a new one, but I I don't think I've made it this year. I haven't made it in forever. It's this chicken rice soup. It's so easy to make. Every single soup I make is so easy to make, but it is so good and I was craving it. And since it's so cold out, I was like, this is what we're doing today, guys. So. I got everything to make that soup. We have chicken broth, and I actually got this. Um, this is the Bonafide Provisions. I love their bone broth. Um, you can order it online, like the frozen bone broth. You can keep it, obviously, in your freezer. I love it. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, three and a half pounds of chicken when I needed one. Didn't realize that. Oops. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of it. I guess I'll have it for something. Carrots, spinach, celery. Carrots and celery are the base of pretty much every single soup. Oh wow, dill. I uh, didn't need that much. Great. Onions, lemon. I'm actually leaving, I wanna say, Wednesday to go to my mom's for Thanksgiving. So um, I just got like random, oh, long green white rice, which I'll need for the soup. I got some random like frozen meals just in case I needed them before leaving. But now that I have so much chicken, like, what am I gonna do? I don't know. Okay, so this is the buffalo cauliflower mac and cheese bowl. Looks good. Anything buffalo reminds me of Molly. I also got the buffalo style cauliflower bites. I missed her so much. I mean, I talked to her this morning, but still. Um, and then the spinach and kale lasagna. But again, Miss Molly. I always say, okay, do you guys have like nicknames for your friends? This is not a nickname, but Molly, Molly Bailey, Molly's old dude's name was. Miss Molly did 14, and so I always call her Miss Molly. Like, I don't know. Anyways, love these, thinking of you, miss you. So I'm gonna make some food here. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna eat first and then make some food, listen to some podcasts. I'm like in my creative at night era, like middle of the day. I'm like, have a burst of energy to work out and like do my wellness stuff in the morning. 
and then I like kind of am brain dead and then later on in the evening or night is when I get all the like ideas and I'm like a lot more productive and creative. I'm planning out the podcast for the rest of the year slash into 2023. I hear y'all wanting solo episodes and I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to do three in a row and just see what you guys like. And then I'll probably go down to like half interviews, half podcasts. My goal is to do eight episodes a month. So I have two episodes weekly, one solo, one interview. We'll see. I'm at five now. At least I want to be at like, at like six um, as time goes on throughout the year. So at least six podcast episodes. That is my goal. Um, so let me know what you guys think down below. I'm also brainstorming for a new podcast art. Like, I just can't get the vision. Like, I'm trying so hard. So, anyways, I'm gonna make the soup. It's really easy. I'll probably just, like, kind of take you all along and then show you. I can link the recipe below. If I don't, it's the modern proper chicken and rice soup. It is so good. <laughs> All right, so I just really started on the soup. What you do is you start with obviously onions, carrots, celery, then you add in four cups water, six cups chicken broth, add in the chicken breast just completely whole, and then a cup of rice. I don't always measure it out like this, I just like did for the sake of this video. Um, and then once the chicken, this is gonna boil, and then once the chicken is cooked, which it's like boiled through obviously, I will remove the chicken, add the rest of the stuff in here, the spinach and stuff you'll see, and shred the chicken myself and then add it back in there. And then I'll just like let it simmer and stuff. But it tastes incredible. This is actually like one of my favorite soups and I really don't make enough, but I like it. I find it a little bit more filling because there's rice in there so you have like more carbs. Um, it gives you more energy. So anyways, love this one. All right, so the soup is pretty much done. I'm just, like I just added in the spinach. You're really not supposed to add in the celery and carrots until this part, but I just forgot. I kind of tore up the chicken a little bit, and then I need to add in some lemon juice. But I love this. I honestly wish I would have done even more rice because I like it. I like a soup that's, like, not chunkier. That's not the right word, but, like, less liquidy, less soupy, I guess. So, anyways, it smells really good. It looks incredible. I'm going to add some lemon juice, and then I'm pretty much done. It's much later. My new garden is done. There is dirt all over my floor, so I need to clean up. I haven't moved everything over yet, but I will eventually. It's just kind of freezing outside right now. Um, I've just been getting work done. I planned out so many solo podcast episodes, and I'm actually really excited to just consistently be doing solo episodes. I'm actually about to shower and self-tan. I still have, like... My tan left over from the live show, which is like a week and a half ago. I'm like looking at my buttons in the back, but um, I really, really need to scrub it off. Like it's embarrassing and then tan again and then I'm gonna have like a chill night at home, read, relax, whatever. Um, and tomorrow is gonna be more fun. I have like plans and I'm actually leaving the house and you know, whatever. I'm going to Pilates. I haven't been in like two weeks. So I've just been doing different workouts. Here's my outfit. Hold on. Okay, here's my outfit. My puffer is set active. My long sleeve is skins. I don't know where the sports bra is from. My pants are after voices, which honestly I don't know if I'm gonna like working out in these, but they seem chill. And then I have my hugs on. We're about to head out. It's like 7.45, I think. I'm gonna grab coffee on the way. I know it's gonna shock everyone. I've been really on my coffee kick lately. Um, and this morning I have a blowout and then I have like a lunch kind of meeting. It's not really a meeting, kind of. Um, I'm meeting lunch with two girls that we've been meaning to do something. Um, and they own a canned espresso martini. Um, yeah, a canned espresso martini. Why can't I, I don't know. Um, and then I'm recording later today. Um, and then tonight, Lauren and I have a res at Hudson House, the lover's one because the Christmas decor is up. So it's a good day. Time to ice roll. My face has been so puffy lately and I've watched the vlogs back and been like, why am I not ice rolling? Like, doesn't even look like me. 
what podcast do y'all like drop everything to listen to or like are in your permanent rotation mine's Walter's podcast recently not skinny but not fat um what else skinny confidential i really like jay shetty lately i especially i like i listen when he has guests on i don't i don't listen to the other ones i probably should um oh i also like ed my but i haven't been listening to him lately i need to go back to that I really like Ed Milet. He's one of those people who's like super motivational, self-development, whatever. But because he's also like emotional and also he reminds me so much of my dad that it makes me like not feel overwhelmed. Speaking of my dad, by the way, if y'all are in Dallas, he's opening a med spa end of this month. So get ready. Hopefully I'll have a code or something for y'all. But that is where I'll be going for literally everything. I don't even know if this is doing anything. I don't think it's cold enough. Okay, I finished my coffee so fast. It's my normal order. It's always on my Instagram highlight. I'm going into Hot Pilates. I'm really excited. Like I said, I haven't been going as much lately just because I've been weightlifting and then running. I haven't even been boxing. I've just been, you know, doing the normal stuff. But, or not the normal stuff. I've been switching up my routine. But I've been craving it the past few days. So I am going today. And I'm very excited. I feel like a lot of people will be here because it's like a holiday week and people are home. Or it'll be opposite, who knows. <coughs> Every time I drink coffee, I cough. Alright y'all, blowout is done. That blowout took two hours. With extensions, mine will normally take like an hour and a half without extensions 45. If that, I mean like probably an hour. That took two hours, so I'm like 10 minutes late to lunch and I'm never late if you know me. That's like one of my like, I just am never late. So, <laughs> I'm just meeting these girls. So I'm like, I'm really, really sorry. I'm going to Siddell's now. I'm just shocked it took that long. It never takes that long. I do like my blowout though. It's just like voluptuous. Well, I'm sure. What do I say that word? Guys, sometimes I gotta go. Hey, I'm back from lunch. I'm wearing it the Dallas set, but my top is not the size I normally wear at the bottoms. I have a gift from Prey Hours. We went to Siddell's together just now. Oh my god, wait, how cute. Guys, their like merchant stuff is really, really cute. We have this really cute beanie. They have canned espresso martinis, by the way. They're fabulous, I love them. And then, oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Anyways, they have canned espresso martinis, check them out. Here's my hair with the blowout. I did something different since I've just been Going a lot, I actually like a straighter blowout better. I normally just get like the Mai Tai or the Cosmo Tai just for my hair to last. But honestly, like I can recurl the ends, that's fine. Just got some volume, did rollers. I don't know, like it's kind of messy from the wind. I think I like it. I'm not really sure. So anyways, I need to work for the next couple of hours. And then tonight, we're going to Hudson House. It's really a Dallas day here. Guys, I I don't want to toot my own horn right now, but I might just be the funniest person on TikTok. Also, see, I like this. I just wish it would stay like this for five days. Also, I'm about to... Oh, my God, I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> How embarrassing. Okay. um, This does not look good. I am about to record a podcast recording, but Dom... Guys. I think that Dom is like not okay these days, and I have a few reasons as to why I think that, but she so confidently went on okay sis, and yes, I've seen those DMs about it, yes, she so confidently went on okay sis and said, oh my god, well, you know this was the first podcast I'd ever been on. This bitch had been on my show as a recurring guest for two years at that point, but I guess I mean nothing to her. So I did just make a TikTok and then Lauren and I, I'm being really, well, we talked about this yesterday, it was funny, but I'm being really funny and I saved the audio. So Lauren and I are going to dinner. We might actually go to Leela's before because they DM'd me and gave me a gift card. Love them. Um, and I might even go, 
We're gonna actually no, I'm not. I might. We're going to record a TikTok with the audio. So I like. Maybe I do want to be one of those drama YouTubers. Anyways, I'm going to film um, some end of the year podcast episodes. I know that obviously it is November 22nd as I'm recording these, but I like having them sent in and done, and I owe them all my episodes by December 13th. Also, I think Mason just like talked me into doing a uh, Vlogmas, 12 days of Vlogmas, and I think I'm gonna do it. At first I said no, and then I was like, well, maybe. Which is basically how everything with us goes at first. I'm like, I don't know. I don't actually say no like that. Like I'm like, they're always good ideas, but it's more so just like, if I haven't done it, there's a reason. But now I'm like, you know what? No, you're right. So I'm gonna do that. I have my coffee, it's 5 p.m. Got a whole night. I love my closet room. It's supposed to be such a good mood, but. Guys, I just recorded two solo episodes and I loved it. Like I'm really excited to be doing more solos. I'm rushing to get ready right now because I'm meeting Lauren at Leela's now. We were just gonna do Hudson House tonight, but then Leela's DM me and they gave me a gift card. So I was like, we might as well stop by. And we're gonna be apart for like five days and we were apart this weekend because she was at a wedding. So we really just have to like make up for our lost time. This is my outfit for Leela's. Here we are. My Chanel bag will look cuter just because it's brown, but I might just bring the Okine puff bag. Like, it's actually really, really cute with it anyways. Okay, perfect. Because I want to bring my vlog camera, and I feel like I need to bring this bag if I'm going to bring my vlog camera. This isn't the first time I'm, like, bringing it out somewhere in Dallas. I brought it out in New York always, but I have this. My Uber's almost here. I can't tell if it's, like, cold enough to wear this coat. I think I'm... Well, it's, like, kind of stupid with this sweater, too, though. Because I don't know how I... Like, look at me right now. Like, what? Okay, I have to go. I will see you guys soon. Very, very, very soon. But best part about this bag is it fits my vlog camera. Hudson House, guys, it is so beautiful. It took Lauren 30 minutes before she realized that there was Christmas decor. That's literally why we came here. It's only at the Lover's location. We always get 12 oysters, and we normally get like seven different things and we're trying to not because then we have like what are you talking about no we just never know what we get i assume we normally get like seven different things but we're trying to stop over ordering so we'll see how that goes but everything here is so good 12 oysters we're not but we're shop. besides that we're yeah <laughs> And you said, we normally would get like four starters, two drinks. Like, we could rack it up the eating out bills. Oh, this is Lauren's job. We are we're Some shopping with the $100 dinners. Yeah, we are shopping. That was enough. It, no, like, there was no need. It was like a week night. <laughs> like, there was literally no need. So, we're not doing that anymore. But we just made the funniest TikTok ever because Dom lied on OK Sis. <laughs> And I had to expose her. So go follow me, Kenzie the Texan. Guys, I have to tell you a secret. I have watched my TikTok tonight like 400 times because it's truly the funniest thing I've ever done. Dom, do you have anything to say for yourself? Didn't think so. Thank you. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Love you guys so much. Oh, I am doing 12 days of Vlogmas. I think I've already said that in this vlog. I have like half of a drink. And I don't know, I just feel like weird. Like I feel like, I don't know how to describe it. So I'm gonna go to bed, have a nice workout tomorrow, and then I'm heading home. Well, like my parents' house, which I didn't ever live at. So whatever, I'm heading to my parents tomorrow for Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys had a great day. Or having a good day. I'm really, really tired, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. My notes app apology is coming soon. And it's actually my notes app statement. This is, I'm being silenced. The story is being twisted. I want my dreams out there. Bye. Even matching, it's like, oh, you give me all this bad energy. Like, I'm going to just bundle it back up and throw it back in a different way. And in this case, it was a letter to the IRS. Yes.